Welcome to a family vlog channel. You've been born into one. Isn't that, isn't that exciting? Oh my god, you got so much ahead of you, like a bunch of trips to the therapist. therapist. Family vlog channels as a whole, they've had a, they've had a questionable history on the internet, but as long as there have been cameras and f forums to post them online, people have recorded their family. Some have gone further than others to just completely record the entirety of their child's life up until the point where they can say, no, please stop. It's been a big deal, and, and the, the questionable part is, you know, the bleak, bleak look of all the houses that are put into these vlog channels are always just so clean, cleanly put together because they have to be on camera all the time. Juxtaposed with the fact that the kids who are in the videos have to act so jolly and crazy all the time uh, because they have no choice but to listen to what their parents ask them to do. At the forefront of all these vlog channels is the Ace family, or at least they were. For a long time, they were the biggest, the baddest, the rudest, the worst. <laughs> Honestly, they sucked. And though they were annoying and pointless, they uh, they somehow garnered a following of 18.4 million subscribers at their peak, their height. And meanwhile, while doing this, they had a large fandom, and with a large fandom comes a large responsibility. And though they have that responsibility, they thought to take advantage of it by scamming their entire fan base. Oh, what a great choice. Oh, they didn't do it only once? What the hell, guys? You're supposed to learn from your mistake, you dinguses. The buffoonery they got up to at the height was the, um, the uh, Ace Amusement Park or whatever it was called. It doesn't really matter what it was called. A ticket was $299 per person. You know, as a family channel, you guys really should have a package deal for the family, you know? Only, only $600 for the family, and by that I mean $599. Either way, you ever been to a county fair? That thing cost 20 bucks to get in as a group. Please. And, and they had all the same attractions, but this is old old news. They also one time decided to work at a, a restaurant as a family or whatever, the two of them. They're like, oh my god, look at us. We're just like you guys. Give us more money so that we can, uh, you know, so that we can uh, scam you guys more. Just keep watching our channel. We're just like you guys. Yep. Divorce. Divorce. Who could have seen it coming? The chaos, the crazy nature of their existence. Always talking about how marriage is just so hard. Okay, well, let me tell you something about marriage, okay? So I want to just express something. So when it comes to marriage, you probably will think about getting a divorce or being alone multiple times. Every day! They filed for divorce, and by that I mean Catherine divorced Austin. The two of them, Catherine and Austin McBroom. Last name McBroom. Broom. Not Ace, none of that crap. That They were just supposed to be like, we're number one, so we're the Ace of whatever, I don't care. McBroom? Really, guys? You think with a last name like that, you could keep a little more cleanly with your, uh, internet presence or, you know, just your lives in general, you know? Clean up a bit. Yeah. But Catherine isn't out of the woods, okay? I just want that to be known. She was part of all this, but she was also a victim of Austin! Oh, Austin, welcome to being the subject of my video. Aren't you excited? Yeah, you shouldn't be. Really sucks to be you, man. Me, me with my, my five digits. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna ruin your whole career, even though you've already done it for yourself. Former YouTube star Austin is suddenly moved to Snapchat in the wake of his uh, divorce. Yeah, that's what he decided to do. He decided to move to Snapchat, the, the dead, desolate plane of existence that is Snapchat. Who uses Snapchat anymore except for people trying to get some, you know, get, get, get some? And also people who are just trying to make uh, loops of, like, a useless ad for you to watch. Those are the people on Snapchat. And also now Austin! <laughs> So Austin is extremely annoying. Uh, while he was part of their family, clips would leak of him being utterly disgusting around his family. Uh, here. Hey. Welcome back to our channel, guys. What's going on, everybody? Ooh, ooh. Look at my hair. No. Good thing I don't have to. No, I'm gonna say it. Good thing I have to be on camera today. Okay. God. Okay. My hair looks fucked up. I'm not feeling like this. So just go. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Hey, 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 hey family! Hey. Welcome back to our channel, guys. What's going on, every? Ooh, look at my hair. Good thing I'm not gonna be on camera today. All right, baby. Yeah, dude, shut up. Sh shut up, dude. Shut, shut 
up, man. Oh my god, nobody cares. Stop yelling around and at your kids and at your wife like that. Well, ex-wife now. Guess you should have seen that one coming up. You, you bozo. bozo. You buffoon. You utter, you utter loser. <laughs> Stupid. But let's go down the list of the things Austin has been getting up to since his divorce. In no particular order, he got an RV. That was the first big thing he did. I, uh, I remember seeing he got an RV. Oh my god, look at you, Austin, in an RV. Why are you dressing like that, bro? My cookies, y'all. I made some cookies in here. Let's see what these cookies talking about. Oh, they're not done yet. They baking, they baking right now. These are the cookies, by the way. Go on with my health tip. Got to get the plant-based chocolate chip cookies. Gas. You ain't... You, why are you trying to poor bait people? You're not poor. You're still a millionaire. What the hell are you doing? Stop acting like you've got it hard. You just bought an RV. What the hell? He also, like, tried to get a job at, like, CVS or something. In America, if you don't know, that's a drugstore. It's, it's like a, you know, a gas station without the gas station, but it also has a pharmacy in the back. That's CVS, okay? It's a, it's a big deal, right? But, but you don't need a job at CVS. You're still making millions off YouTube, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't know the legal dilemma of what happened, of who got what, and who's got the, who's got the YouTube channel. It doesn't matter. You're still a multi-million dollar millionaire. He also then uh, started hanging out with DDG, right? He's a rapper. Uh, just a rapper, right? He's a rapper. But he had him uh, sing something he wrote, but it's a freestyle. Yeah, in this video here, right, I can't really show you because I don't know how much of it is copywritten. But, like, basically he's like, oh my god. I need you to say how I'm feeling, Dee Dee. I need, I need you to talk for me. I met you. I met you. The thing is, is he says, I, I need you to sing this freestyle that I wrote. Uh, you don't write a freestyle, Austin. So, so you're, you're rich, rich and you're stupid. stupid. That's, That's hilarious. hilarious. I mean, some people be like, well, you can kind of write a freestyle. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I know what a freestyle is. Okay, I'm cultured. All right, freestyle literally just means somebody plays a beat. And then you riff off that. That's it. In this RV where he failed to get a job, he also lost his mind when he didn't get that job. He was freaking out, dude. He was freaking out. I mean, sure, it has to do with also being divorced and all that stuff. But he was, like, screaming, screaming. Pull up your pants. Pull up your pants. You're not cool for for sagging a bit. Shut. Shut up. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Doing all the wrong stuff, man. He's just doing all the wrong stuff. And it really gets on my... Uh, gets on my little nerves. <laughs> but in this RV, he also decided to stalk his ex-wife and kids. Oh my god, uh, what a good decision. He just keeps making great decisions. He, he decided to stalk his wife or ex-wife. Ex-wife, she's thriving now. Ex-wife. I'm so mad right now. I woke up this morning um, and I had a good-ass night, even though it was a little cold. I woke up this morning to a damn ticket. A ticket, literally that. 7 13 they left a second ticket on my windshield saying that neighborhood watch alert this area is for residents only even though i used to live there you are not a resident of this neighborhood you may not leave your park vehicle on the street for more than 72 hours Uh, yeah, so he got a he got a parking ticket from the neighborhood watch on his RV. Is telling him to get the hell out of here. Oh, I got a parking ticket. Who could have seen that coming? Oh my God, who could have seen that coming? Who knew I would have got a parking ticket? Not me, cause I'm stupid little Austin. Like, okay, you're gonna make all these questionable decisions. He also like ran a lemonade stand. Like, this isn't a big deal, right? But it's another more of that like poor baiting thing he's doing, where he's like, guys. Feel bad for me, please. Please feel bad for me. I have it so hard. Hi, do you want to buy some lemonade from me? From me, my little old lemonade stand? Hey, I know you. You're, you, you're, you're like really famous. You're, you're part of one of those, one of those big YouTube channels, right? Yeah, I, I know you. Why are you asking for money? Uh, uh, you, uh, you, you got the wrong guy, man. You got the... You got the you got the wrong guy, man. I I'm just trying to I'm just uh, 
humble little lemonade stand owner. That's me. I got a lemonade stand. Uh, would you like some lemonade? Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, you're the guy who would yell at his kids and his and his wife, ex-wife, I hope now. Yeah, you you were the one who mistreated all your kids. And now you you literally owned an illegal house. Like, it was so expensive the way you merged two houses together that it was illegal. That's how rich you are. And you're asking me, the common person, for money? What the hell's wrong with you? Hey, man, you better not make me get up from this lemonade stand or I'm gonna get... No, 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 you shut up and sit down. You, you be quiet. You don't... No, 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 no. You're the one who would yell at his poor little kids. That's you. I know you, you big baby. Yeah, I heard you didn't get that job at CVS, you loser. Shut up. That's a low blow, man. There was also a point in this history where he was like, I don't know, I don't know who they are, but I'm pretty sure they have an, uh, only stands. A tiny person, I'm pretty sure, who, who had this business, you know, that's very cool, very good, but he decided, hey, um, I'm gonna have her on here, we're gonna talk, and then I'm gonna go, she's disgusting and a dirty woman, she's gross, and he said this all in his, like, hairnet, and then he was like, she was in my bed, uh, oh my god, and he, like, tore it apart and started cleaning it and vacuuming the actual bed, you don't vacuum a bed. That's disgusting, Austin. That's disgusting. And then he put his own daughter's bed sheets onto that bed that he just used a vacuum on, which is disgusting, Austin. I hope you know that. And he was, like, windexing the, the cupboards above the bed. You know how in an RV you have the bed and then you have, like, the cupboards above them? Yeah, he was, like, windexing those. Dude, dude, shut up. The fact that he ran away to Snapchat should have been a big enough giveaway that he's just, he's done. He's going down the gutter. He's over with, man. There's <laughs> there's no more he can do. He's uh he's screwed. He's he's pretty much done for now. Because the best thing that exists on Snapchat nowadays is literally just like those crazy ads that are so long, but within those ads there are ads. Like that's just a hilarious representation of what happens to uh, companies that go under, right? If I think about Snapchat, I'm like, "Yep, that's where the weirdos go. That's that's where the weirdos go." And if you have Snapchat, I'm sorry, get rid of it. Just just delete it. Who cares about the snap score of, like, 1 million you have with your ex-boyfriend? Nobody cares. Nobody cares, dude. It doesn't matter. Like, it literally doesn't matter. Just delete the app. Do yourself a service. Do yourself a service and get rid of that gross piece of garbage on your phone. Taking up space. Taking up too much space with that snap streak you got on there. And just to recap, back to that song he wrote where he was like, I miss you. Oh my god, I miss you so much. My ex-wife who left me because I was abusive. I miss you. The one I convinced to illegally make a house with me. <laughs> like, I don't even know if he knew what he was doing was wrong, but apparently they bought a giant house. Like, like two giant houses and then merged them together, which is apparently, like, illegal to do. I don't, I don't understand the logistics of that, but, like, you should have known that. <laughs> if you're the one making this giant million trillion dollar mansion and you, you're like, ah, I guess I'll do it. For funsies, uh, I'm gonna merge them together for funsies, and you, you should probably look into that to make sure that's not illegal. Yeah, they've had a couple of real big scandals in their life, but the biggest scandal was the fact that that woman had to marry Austin. Yeah, <laughs> she fell for it. That idiot, that stupid idiot. Not, not, not Catherine, Austin, Austin's, Austin's the idiot. I miss you, I miss you. Maybe you should have thought about that before you, you know whatever you did only know you love him when you let him go the song of my childhood bro i don't even remember the name of that song or who wrote it but <laughs> only know you love him when you let him go wise words of wisdom <laughs> thank you for watching uh, if you made it this far you've got a great attention span you're amazing for that i uh i appreciate your time and thank you for watching me make fun of this idiot this video is brought to you by this member oh yeah you rule you're awesome. You, I couldn't do it without you. You're perfect and amazing and I love you. Thank you for your continued support. If you want to be featured in a Lewis video, just become a member. You'll be right there. Right there. I know. Though there are many ways to have a marriage. That's not one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, baby, that's a... Uh... Austin, you're a waste of space. If you can't even get a job at CVS, it's probably because you're too dumb. And you like they they ask you a couple like basic questions like uh you know how to restock a shelf and you're like yeah man you just put you just put stuff on the shelf and they're like yeah uh, how do you know what you put on the shelf and uh, he'd probably he'd probably say something like if it's like the right size. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Austin, but the reason you didn't get that job is because you're too dumb to get it.
your dude, your dude, um, <laughs> and like, oh my god, he's so rich, he's so rich, and he's like, give me money for my lemonade stand, oh my god, shut up, bro, oh my god, shut up, bro, okay, anyways, thank you for watching, I really appreciate your time, I hope you have a good morning, evening, or afternoon, later!